Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. I'm Kevin McNew. It's Monday, January 11th, one day before USDA's barrage of new supply and demand data. But first, let's take a look at the Grain Edge trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, it was a day of selling with wheat leading to the downside, giving up nine and a half cents a bushel after last week's rally. Corn followed with a five and a quarter cent loss and beans managed to lose only four cents. Really today was a day of more negativity with crude oil seeing a $2 loss now approaching $31 a barrel. Uh, we thought today might be a day of just marking time ahead of the USDA report, but actually it turned quite quickly into a day of selling with wheat giving up last week's gains and corn following suit. Beans managed a little bit of a rally out of the gate this morning, but quickly turned negative as corn and wheat just continued to trudge lower. Now, tomorrow, the USDA supply and demand report, the USDA's quarterly stocks report, and the USDA's winter wheat seedings report are all on the minds of traders. We're going to go through this data, but overall, the general theme is no one really expects much in the way of changing numbers from what we had previously expected based on December data or changes from previous estimates. So, but let's take a look first at U.S. ending stocks. And in U.S. ending stocks, we're looking for very little change here. Uh, really, overall, no change in ending stocks. Corn is expected to be unchanged. Beans is up only a mere 3 million uh, bushels, but that really is just saying that most analysts don't expect any change. And the same with wheat. <clears throat> in terms of South America, here's what we're sort of seeing analysts look for. They're looking for a slight reduction in Brazil's production for corn and beans because of the dry weather that occurred in the northern part of that country, but overall in Argentina, they're looking for an uptick in corn and bean production because of the really good wet conditions. So that's going to be, I think, where the trade's going to be focused because I don't expect uh, production numbers for the U.S. to be that significantly different. I don't look for carryout to be that significantly different, although in the longer term I'm much more bearish, uh, especially in the case of corn, where I think export sales are really overestimated at this juncture by USDA, but they may not choose uh, to increase, I'm sorry, to decrease exports in this coming report and wait for uh, more data and confirmation. So really, I think South America is going to be where everyone's going to be focusing. We've heard some reports uh, first from FC Stone and then uh, late last week from the USDA's Ag Attaché out of Brazil that the crop might be somewhere around 98 million metric tons for beans. If we get that kind of number out of USDA, that could be somewhat supportive here for beans, but still, this is a very large crop and we're seeing weather in the northern part of that country, which has been dry, especially in December, really start to see some rains. They had good rains over the weekend. The outlook for the next two weeks is also positive in terms of moisture. So I just think it's going to be hard to see any sort of sustained rally uh, on the news of a 98 million metric ton crop. Now let's switch gears and talk about wheat. We're going to get our first indication of 2016 winter wheat plant and traders look for a slight drop in plantings from last year. Last year we had 39.46 million acres. This year we're expecting 39.32. Not a big difference, but a slight drop. You know, we need to see numbers in the low 38s before this market gets any sort of positive uh, carryout. Right now, Everything is fairly negative, stacking up against the grains. Uh, today was just more indication that the traders are willing to push this even with the overhang tomorrow of USDA's fresh round of data. You know, we do have a lot of shorts in the market that's potentially uh, going to see some volatility tomorrow as we get closer to this report, but overall I still look for more downside risk here. We have corn where we're 25% uh, behind pace from this time last year. USDA is only factoring in a 6% drop. We've got export discounts in Argentina that are 25%, I'm sorry, 25 cents a bushel cheaper than our corn right now. Uh, the same holding true in Brazil where their soybeans are substantially discounted to us. This is at a time of the year where we're usually the dominant player because it is their growing season 
in our post-harvest season. So some of that is their currencies being devalued, our strong dollar, and you know just a, a wealth of factors that are stacking up against the grain market. So if you're really concerned about what the next two to three months hold, which I think you should be, then you know by all means give us a call 877-472-4607 and we can talk to you about what kind of strategies might be useful to help weather this pretty gloomy outlook. And that's all we've got for today. Join us tomorrow when we'll be talking about the supply and demand report. Or if you like Twitter, join us on at Grain TV. We'll be tweeting the results of that report as well. That's a great day. That's it for today and trade safely.